Hello everyone, my name is the Ember Knight, or Emma for short. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to the 17th, 16th day in the Halloween series that we are currently doing on the channel. Um, today we are playing Garten of Banban 4. Um, we're going to get straight into it, because, you know, we don't want to make these... Ooh, no. Okay, um, I wasn't expecting that, I thought you were dead. Um, yeah, I am recording this because, for anyone who doesn't know, I do I do these YouTube videos for YouTube Create. Um... He's not, he's not behind us. My god. Okay, thank god that is finally over. Um, okay, I get it. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say, I make these on free YouTube Create, so... Um, it's the only editing software I know to use. But we were having a problem I can't get you down now, can I? I was having a problem getting the video sorted. Um, I edited, I edited the video twice, and it still didn't save. And then. I, when, well, I edited it once, I tried to export it. It said export failed. So I try to record it again. Um, what do you know? It failed. I don't know why I kind of pick you up. What? But yeah, I don't know why I couldn't pick it up. I mean, sorry, I couldn't export it, so... Um, I try to edit it again and export it. I even deleted like loads of videos and files off my phone. Um, still wouldn't export, so I had to screen record the entire video. Um, the last two parts are like muddled up. Like um, it might be like a weird editing because for some reason on the export it just well sorry the video just kept um, stopping. Listen up, criminal. That whole act of you being unconscious won't work on me. You're a prisoner now. You'll do what you're told without any questions. Understood? Okay. Now your first task is very simple. I will ask you yes or no questions, and you'll answer them using the buttons on your left and right. Facing forward, the button on your right is a yes, and the button on your left is a no. I could, I couldn't tell question that, one. thank you. Someone locked up all the criminals in the swamp on the level above. Was that you? Yes. You saved a lot of time for someone that needs every minute on their hand. So thank you for that. That someone shall not be mentioned. Moving on. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? Yes, I have. Very strong really? fellow. I'm surprised you're still in one piece. Very Third strong. Third question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? Yes, and I absolutely hate it. Heads up. Fourth question. Have you ever come in contact with a threat shown on the board? I'm sorry to say yes, but I'm going to be very honest with him. No. I thought so. 
You must have come from the floors above. Fifth question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? Yes, and I love them. That one gives me the creeps. I feel bad. Sixth question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? Now let me think. He looks very similar to someone I know, but I'm gonna say no. I don't. I don't know. I hope the rest of your answers were as truthful as this one. All right. Grab your belongings from the back and step out of the room. <laughs> My belongings. It's just my little thing. Oh, you are creepy, bro. What a waste of time. You don't even work here. Oh. What on earth are you doing this deep down anyway, partner? You know what? Follow me. We can talk more inside. It's not very safe out here. And he's got stitching on his back. That is... I think that's the first Careful character here. that's had stitching. It's not very sturdy. But yeah, as I was saying, the export, I had to screen record the entire video, and it's now like... I've cropped the video to like fit this layout that it's got right now. Um, then I just need to go through it on the get on my gallery and just welcome edit. to the kingdom. Edit the um, like take the parts out that got that stopped suddenly for some reason. It's not up to me to decide what to do with your partner. We need to talk to the queen, and when we do. Show respect. Show respect. God, you are massive. I'm pretty sure I do remember who that is. I have heard of him. I think it's the Jester. God, you are massive. Your Majesty, I've finished interrogating the new captive. And how would you rate the fruitfulness of that interrogation on a scale of one to ten? Zero. They don't talk much. And I think they came from the surface. The surface? That's a new one. Hmm. Did they say what they're doing down here? I'm afraid not. I think I know. A worried parent can spot another worried parent from a mile away. I've heard the screams and the crash from above. You're here in search of your child. I fear you won't find them. Most humans have ceased to come down to this floor for quite some time now. We can help with getting you back up to the upper floors, but allow us to introduce ourselves first. I am Queen Valsilia, the ruler of the kingdom. This is Sheriff Toadster, the protector and only other citizen of the kingdom. <laughs> I apologize on behalf of both myself and the sheriff for the rough reception. We've all been a little on edge lately. I'm sure you can understand. Sure. Uh, how's the elevator back up doing, Sheriff? Not too well. It's missing some crucial parts. Three to be exact. Do you know where these parts are? Yes, Your Majesty. I was previously too occupied to go and collect them. The coming hours will be rough for us all. But this is not your battle, parent. A sheriff, accompany the parent and go grab the missing parts. But Your Majesty... We should be focused on protecting you. You win once you two get back with the pots in hand. That's bad. All right, you heard the lady. Let's head to the station, partner. I was hoping I would go by myself so I could like talk a bit you more. Get by too well for someone who doesn't utter a word. You know mm. that? Hello, little Maybe buddy. I talk less and see where that gets me. Much of what the Queen has said really downplayed our situation. We're in trouble. A lot of trouble, partner. 
The Queen's Jester has gone rogue. Yeah, no matter what, what happens, happens, he must not make the Queen laugh. Otherwise, what's in her pouch escapes, and we all die. The naughty ones? Also, I'm gonna call this little guy um, Pingy. I really hope he does get reunited with his mother again, and his siblings, and his dad. Or if it's a girl. I'm pretty sure it's a girl because obviously the blue one was the Tartar bird, like that was the odd one out. But yeah, I apologize if um, the third video I've got, the third chapter of this, is a bit weird at the end. Um, if there's no like, if it's just a sudden cut to like a different part. The three cause... parts of the elevator are scattered across three stations, which we can get to using this old transport system. I believe it's two tickets per rider. Two for me, two for you, and two for little B here. There should be some scattered around here. Little B, he's called... Um... Pinky. I think you should know. Isn't that right, Pinky? I love you, Pinky. Um. <laughs> Wanted, dead or alive. One million ban coins. Oh, yeah, it's talk to me as its mother. This is a nightmare, it has to be. I thought I was ready to witness the things down here, but I was severely mistaken. They said the training would be enough. I felt betrayed and I felt scared, but never both at the same time. I should never have put my life in my co-worker's hands. I have been left behind as they run away. Like the cowards they are, and now I am left to talk to a piece of paper. What was that screaming come from above? And what on earth was that thing that approached us? It was almost like, it was almost like nothing but a massive floating face. The training manual said nothing about that, and definitely nothing about the giggles that seemed to get closer and closer to me. Am I going insane? Eww. You said there should be like six tickets. Um, oh. What next three? I'm thinking of the solution to sort my problem out with YouTube Create is just deleting it and reinstalling it. I'm pretty sure I had to do that back in Outlast Trials when I played that. Okay, so that makes four. Five. I swear I've seen something that he's actually got one under his hat. Seems very familiar. Guess not. Um, wanted dead or alive. Hmm. Well, the difference between this picture and that and you is... You've got them little pointy things on your head, so definitely not you, mate. I thought it would have been in the flower pot, to be honest. And I can't really check where the location is because... Oh, it's here. I was going to say I kind of check because the video is still, like, saving. Ooh. to the sector marked of yellow. Where are we going though? Um, I guess it's just my choice where we go, so I guess we go to the yellow one first. We'll go like in, in like a seven. You know, I get your confusion, partner. I really do. What's a massive bipedal toad with a hat protecting a giant purple kangaroo queen for? After I was thrown down here by your kind like I was trash, I was hopeless, 
nameless, cold, and miles away from the promised surface. Long story short, I was found and accepted at my lowest. It was then that I declared myself the ultimate protector of the Queen. It's a cause worth fighting for. Good-hearted individuals deserve protection. I don't like how you're like talking, but your mouth is just like a pure plastered face. We're here, partner. Let's get this over with. Oh, I would have loved to have traded that guy in. Go along, little buddy. The part we need should be in the administration room, within the ventilation corridors. But it looks like the door's locked. Two-headed freak, the feline. The feline? Oh, I hate that sea lion picture. Bitter giggle says, nothing is as precious as smiles. Tell a joke wherever you walk. So I'm pretty sure you can only put the bird on like high surfaces so she doesn't run away. The Sheriff. We just received instructions to abandon all work being done on Case 9. We were happily obliged as we do not suspect that Case 9's behaviour will change. The LLTT has been contacted, but to keep the reports up to date, we've included evidence that Case 9 is indeed able to hold himself back from arresting and imprisoning, often fatally. However, he deems as a filthy criminal, he choose, just chooses not to. Case 9 only considers following orders of what he has called his citizens. While it remains unknown who he considers his citizens, it has been theorized that it is all Ban Ban's gang's members. He seemed to at least listen to the court of to the order of Case 6 when they were both placed in the same room and further recording 134 for the full transcript of the interaction. While Case 9 had to be exited of the room before he was instructed by Case 6 to do something dangerous, it was the first time Case 9 displayed obedient behavior in months. Case is permanently not ready for pr presentation. Do do. I'm assuming you're just going to stay there, which. Oh. Oh, what? What's happening? You stay in there and don't move. I'll figure out a way to get the door open. You're not gonna leave the little guy, are you? Hi, I'm a hungry snake. Do you have any food? <laughs> Ooh. I didn't expect him to be a villain. I mean, I'm sure it's like the jester cannot make him laugh, and I'm assuming that's the jester. Um, I didn't expect him to like run out of this. <sighs> Baby doop. I wanted to say as well, if what? um, what's happening? You stay in there and don't move. I'll figure out a way to get the door open. I wanted to say if we can reach uh, 50 subscribers on the channel, I will start Hi, doing. I'm um, a hungry snake. Do you have any food? Toad stars never disappoint, partner. That, my friend, was the jester I was talking about. AKA, Bitter Giggle. He now knows we're not in the kingdom. Let's grab the part and get out of here. Can sense danger. Wait, I know my enemies. We're being stalked. Stalked These vents by. are interconnected. They make perfect traps. 
I'm sure there's a way we can tell which ones are rigged. We just need to figure it out. Yeah, um, I was going to say, since this part is going to be very simple, if we can reach 50 subscribers on the channel, um, I will start doing um, streams, if you guys would like to say that. If that's something you'd be interested in. Um, Like, uh, I think if I was to do like any, my first ever stream, I think I'd want to do, um, Evil Within, because I know like, once again, Someone on someone comment on the channel. Um, if you're watching this, um, I will either stream it or record it. Uh, I feel like streaming will be a lot of fun, and um, I'll be able. Uh, like, um, I'll have my, like, um, I'll have a tablet up so I can, like, read your guys' responses during the chat. Um, yeah, if you would like to, if you would like that, just let me know, or, well, I said let me know, try and help me get to 50 subscribers, and I can start doing that system operable. Who the hell is that? Temporary shutdown. I'm assuming we need to do the same thing That's all the way we back. Need this section. Let's head back and see if it'll fit. Okay, you're just gonna walk straight out. As long as you go first, I don't mind following you. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to do like streams. Um, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even mind consider doing like um, Silent Hill Two on a stream, where I get like the trophies. If you guys would like to, you know, take some of that. I don't know, just little things to spice the channel up a bit more, since, uh, yeah. Streams are a lot easier than recording. Okay, so now we'll go to the green one. Okay, so... Oh, never mind. I'm guessing he's just going to take one anywhere. I'm guessing it's just moving between all different areas. Also, when he said, like, sh these sheriffs, toad, toad stars, was that, like, a freaking ninja star that he threw at him? Oh. Little buddy, no! Where are we going? Oh, do not tell me we're going all the way around, back to the area that we've been at. I am pretty sure that's what it's doing. I think it's literally taking me all the way back round to, um... The location I started at, it's going all the way back there. Sorry, not the location I started at, this is the location I started at. I think it's going, like, all the way back to the ventilation sector.
Oh, never mind, it didn't. Let's, Let's head for the elevator, elevator to see if the part fits. Oh, okay, so I thought we were gonna go like every location. We could have just went to every single location first and then, you know, put it all in at once. That's the kind of thing I would do. Ah, you're a pretty fast individual, so... Not the same speed as my... well, Pinky's just gone. I love how Pinky knows what we're doing. If anything happens to that bird, I will be very, very upset. Don't you dare hit- I swear to god, if this, if this chapter- well... I guess, would it be counted as a chapter, or would it be counted as like, uh, its own game? Because technically it's just one big story. Except they don't even really count it as chapters, they just like, put like, got in a ban ban and then... another digit on the end. Seriously, if they heard Pinky this chapter, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Like I said again. So this is the Sheriff again. To say that the new approach to encapsulate and KS9 with his desired identity has backfired will be an understatement. Perhaps the amount of time KS9 schedules that was dedicated to watching Western media was too excessive. While KS9 has fully embraced himself as Ban Ban's gang protector, he has grown, he's grown to believe that everyone that is not part of his gang that is not part of Ban Ban's gang is a criminal, including inanimate objects of human features, the facility staff, and most likely children. It did not help that last week was completely dedicated to how to probably crash in prison interrogate criminals his size or larger. No staff member is safe near KS9 as his methods are simply too violent for a human being to survive. KS9 has become a real western sheriff where existing as one will ruin everything. KS is not ready for presentation. Perfect. That's one of three. I'll stay here and put everything together. For now, maybe just hang around the place and talk to the queen when you're ready. Well, I'm just gonna go straight to the queen, bro. Okay, so if I am trusting Pinky will be safe with you, if he is not safe with you, I, like I said, I will kill you. <laughs> I will literally murder this entire kindergarten for Pinky. I don't even care about messing. Pinky is my child now. My my objective is to get Pinky back to her mother and father. A lot of this seems like just back and forth to stretch the chapter out so far. Welcome back. I hope your journey was worth it, and the elevator a little more usable. I wanted to let you know how much I respect the things you are doing to get your child. Putting your life on the line and fighting forces far more powerful than you like that is just... admirable. As a token of my respect, please accept this blue keycard. While not much, it is what we consider a symbol of trust. I am proud to announce that you are officially a citizen of the kingdom. Feel free to stay as much as you like, even after you get your child. The kingdom can now proudly announce that it has reached a population of five. I say five because a friend of yours showed up while you were away. He was in a damaged state, so I told him to stay in the infirmary. He asked for you, so perhaps you could speak with him when you had time. Ban Ban? I don't know if I honestly I don't know if I trust Ban Ban anymore. I mean dudes are literally like walking time bomb. As they say. And like I'm trying to think which movie was like that. Um All we know is um Dead Rising Deluxe Master. Frank sorry. Spoilers. Probably shouldn't go into that. Okay, so they've got sea line in here. DM on me, we just had the best party ever. 
me, Claire, Miss Mason. <laughs> oh. So that's like, that's the adult he's keeping, is Miss Mason. When the Queen mentioned having many visitors in one day, I knew it had to be you. Listen, whatever happened to me, whatever I tried doing to you, just know it wasn't actually me. I was forced to obey without much thought. Oh yeah, it's got stitches on his back. I tried communicating with you from afar for a reason. Now you know the true reason why. Still, I want to make it up to you. The Queen filled me in on the situation with the elevator. I want to help with that. I feel much more in control now. I'll come help you find the missing pieces of the elevator. Oh, uh, don't do that. I just need to rest for a little bit and I'll meet you at whatever that station is. Sure. Can we kick off the sorry of that? Of that hole. I like how we just got out of how to correct itself there. Da. Da hole. Do, do. I'm wondering if these are going to be filled up like over time. From even this chapter or like next. Ooh. Oh, they caught you. Sweet. Okay, I thought. I didn't mention it last last time, but he looks like a massive orange. Oh, it's you. It is me. Don't worry. I'm unable to hurt you. I'm too weak to do anything. Good. By not listening to me and leaving when you had the chance, you have made a great mistake. Sure. Finally, after managing to keep Josh under control, you just had to come around in anger. Look where your arrogance got us now. A position where neither of us can get to the children. This is your fault, and nobody else's. I meant it when I said I would practice the safest of procedures. But regardless, I have something I want to show you. Do not touch me again. It sure yes. looks like you need it. Do not touch. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Hold up. I've seen this you before, sure and it's asleep. so Hello. weird. Grab some of the vegetable snacks we collected and eat. Oh, they're all finished. I remember this, it's so, so weird. I already have consumed my share of the nutrients you have gathered while you were in your slumber. Me too, sorry about that. Thanks, Tap Tap. I have never witnessed kindness coming from a spider before. Man, if Jabu Josh was here, he would have loved those vegetables. They would like beat everyone to death for them. I am content that he's not gracing us with his irritating presence. Why do you hate him so much? Sure, he's got some anger issues, but overall, he's pretty chill. We've had our fair share of altercations. Hate is one of the two emotions I am unable to control. What's the second one? Love. Sorrow. Oh, sadness. Not again. How is any being able to move past constant sorrow in a world like ours? Sometimes I feel like we're all just doomed forever. We each have our plans and goals, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Nor can it undo the past or the previous misery. I hate that in the background. Life is too short to be sad all the time, Stinger. Our lives are end. Well, I don't know what to tell you. You know I'm not the best at this stuff. 
Maybe Nab Nab or the captain can help. Captain? As expected. What's that sound? Here it comes. It is so weird. Lots of other creatures reside in this ecosystem. Could be anything. Like a cameo? Yeah, but what kind of animal makes that sound? <laughs> Help me! Oh my god, I remember saying this and I was like, what the hell? That was one of my favorite games, like, in like recent times. Like, one of my favorite horror games. It is such a good game. Oh shit, did that break my console? Okay, it did. I don't understand that, like... I've never understood the context for why Choo Choo Charles is in the game. Um, I, I looked it up, but like, I couldn't find any information on it. I'm assuming that's given time. Yeah, it's given time to get at the station. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, why is he in the game? What significance does he have? Other than the fact that maybe it was just like a little promotion for that, but I don't think there's any Garden of Ban Ban references in Choo Choo Charles. And fun fact, it was actually my first ever PlayStation game. Where have you been? I've been waiting for a while. The next piece that we need should be at the second station, the feeding sector. Can I just talk my story before you talk? Please. Yeah, um... I feel now is a good time to introduce ourselves. No. Which we haven't done up to this point, if you can no. believe it. I'm Uthman. I worked here before everything came crashing down. Literally and figuratively. I can't imagine the stuff you've witnessed down here. My co-workers and I should have spoken up sooner. Perhaps all of this should have been prevented then. But then again, my co-workers weren't really friends in those last couple of months anyway. So it would have needed some good planning. You ever had those friends that suddenly turn on you for no reason? Haven't we all? To say mine turned on me would be an understatement. They suddenly stopped talking to me. They looked at me like I was some sort of monster. Sometimes I lose my temper, sure, but it seemed excessive. I was and still am confused, to say the least. Can I go? Let's get going. Okay, just take your little clone with you. Yeah, um, because my first PlayStation was Wait, a PS. Get down. Oh, for God's sake, man. What's he doing? Is he going to eat vegetables? So he does actually like vegetables. It's not just like a little joke. What was that? That must have been a trap that the sheriff set up earlier. Ah. Poor Josh. I can't imagine how confusing this has all been for him. That wasn't locked the last time I was here. Can't be too hard to get it open though, right? I was gonna say I've got a key card, but I don't. Yeah, my first uh, PlayStation was a PS5. Um, I know it's a very weird thing that's come out of no out of nowhere. Since um, I was always an Xbox player, and then. I turned to PlayStation because I was like, I want to try some of these other games out that I've always wanted to play. Practice safety and you'll be okay. Right, so that's the password. Um. Oh my god. Ah. 
I must practice. Practice makes perfect. Lists of jokes. A kangaroo, a jellyfish, and a toad walk into a bar. That's it. None of them actually walk. How did the jellyfish get to the seafloor? They took the jelly via. What do you call a surgery being formed by a kangaroo or operation? They're all terrible, bro. I'm, am I the joke? Yes, I would say you are the joke. Also, I don't like this. Like, there are no eyes, it's just... Oh. Nothing is funny enough. So was he making his own clones, or were these just, like, already in the facility? Crown? <gasps> wow! Oh. You just come in here, steal what's ours, and then leave? You humans are all the same. Thieves with no shame. Sure. Your greed knows no limits, only controllable for minutes. Bro, you were dead for a second. You can have the crown. I couldn't care less about that. But can I at least have some applause for my little poem, please? Sure. Are you this one? Don't listen to that guy over there. All he cares about are his poems. I'll show you something that's actually impressive. A magic trick. Open the sesame. I, know I think I earned a round of applause for that. <laughs> oh, so many be like, God damn it. Nope. Damn. Um, but yeah. Um, my first, like, PlayStation was, like I'm saying, the PS5. I know it's a very weird thing just to come out of nowhere with. Uh, honestly, I don't know what to do for this, but um, we have officially got King Dave! Yes, King Dave! But, uh, yeah, first PlayStation was PS5. And the first game I got was Choo Choo Charles. Because, um, like I say, I was an Xbox player for most of my time until I met my partner who had a PlayStation, or well, still has a PlayStation. And then I was like, hmm, I might as well get a PlayStation. Well, I, then again, I tried her PlayStation, um, played some of the games I always wanted to play, like uh, God of War. Well, sorry, I didn't play God of War actually. I only played that recently. I played stuff like Days Gone for a bit, and I did play God of War for a bit and Bloodborne, but I finished them on my this PlayStation. There seems to be two doors behind each other. I think we opened the inner one. Oh. But yeah, um. That's a little thing, a little weird little them talk about my life. I was a PlayStation player, sorry, I was an Xbox player, and then I turned to PlayStation, and now I have them both. But Choo Choo Charles was one of my first games, because it just came out as soon as I got the PlayStation. Which the PlayStation was uh, a Christmas gift from my partner. So what are we doing here? Okay. Yeah, I, like I'm saying, I absolutely loved Choo Choo Charles. Uh, such a good, good game. I uh, wouldn't mind playing it again sometime, but it's like when I know what happens. Um, 
There's not much to it, and there's no like difficulty, I don't think. So it kind of renders it like pointless to play it again. Hopefully they'll do what Amnesia the Bunker did, which um, is another game we will be playing on the channel. I don't know why I was looking like that. Um, another game we will be playing on the channel that I have already played, but it's got like um, more replayability. So I'm looking forward to replaying that. I'm really hoping Choo Choo Charles gets something similar. So I say I would love to play on the channel. I know one of the biggest, one of the games I, I said I was going to play on the channel once was uh, Dark Souls and whatnot, but still haven't gotten around to that. Maybe well, if I get, if I can finally start streaming, I would like to do it because like editing Dark Souls videos just does not sound fun. Before we grab the elevator piece, there is something I need to do first. I need to hand this imposter over to someone very close to me. You do the honors. Josh? Big head? He must have gotten very lonely, but I got him a new friend. Now, we wait. Is it Josh or is it that big wait, head? Wait, no, nap, nap. We can't let Nap Nap take him. Why does Nap Nap even want him? What the hell has this game become? I keep seeing a lot of people saying that this game is like really weird and bad. Um, I think it's okay. I still haven't watched the video explaining why it's bad. Um, maybe it's just because of the all of I the. I tried fixing you so many times, but you're just unfixable. Enough yeah. is enough. You're gonna transform, aren't you? Oh yeah, he's gonna transform. Shit, he gets so far. He's like the Hulk. Did he kill me? I forgot what I was saying, but maybe it's because of the... Let's see what this guy is saying I can first. control it. I know I can. I have a few things I need to do around here. You go back without me. The elevator part should be around here somewhere. See you later, bud. Place in your part of the elevator. Okay. Yeah, um... I'm gonna go the fun way back. I don't know why... Why this game is hated. I mean, I know it's just that random one video, but... Still... I would love to know why. I'll have to watch it. Because I'm thinking it's because of the whole, like... Uh, the we had dream sequences. Maybe that's why they don't... Why that guy made the video on it. Oh yeah, so it is the guy I fought. A big face. I don't like him.
So this video has been going on for 50 minutes and we have got one more part to get. I don't know what's going to happen after I get the final piece, but I'm assuming the, um, the chapter will end once we fix the elevator. But yeah, absolutely no, like, no hate towards the developers for they, for doing this this way, but it does feel like they just made this part just to stretch out the chapter. So it's not too short. But like, in my opinion, I would prefer a shorter chapter than doing this, like having to go back and forth, back and forth. I mean, there hasn't really been any, like, changes. Maybe that's just me. I just, I just hate the idea of having to run back and forth. I can see them adding a lot more characters to that list. That's what kind of is strange to me, like, they started off with like, the original cast and then they just started like dotting more and more characters, so it's like, do you not want to stick? And then again, I think it's because like, the ones at the top, top levels are like, their specific characters and then when you go down and down and down, they're only there for that. That's two or three. Great work, partner. Uh, speak to the queen. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of is it's like, it's part of the, uh, <laughs> trying to think, sorry. What was I even saying? Oh god, I am so terrible. It's... <laughs> oh god, if it comes back to me I'll have to mention it again, but let's just see what the Queen has to say. Welcome back. I, I hope, hope your journey was well out, and the elevator a little more useful. We're very, very close, close to having it fully fixed. Mm-hmm. I pray for the safety of the children you're looking for. When you do find them, can I ask for a favor? Also, I noticed the pouch. Could you try and occasionally come visit? It's been so long since we've had a visitor that isn't trying to harm us. Please do consider my request. Other than that, I don't want to keep you any longer. Also, it appears more of your friends have arrived. If you'd like to go check on them. So I was right, they, they're just putting everyone in here. Um, well, she says more of your friends have arrived. I think it's just like Sheriff Toadster just fucking catching everyone. I swear to God, if I see Bambolina, I have never seen Captain Fiddles yet. I mean, I know he's like in the flashbacks, but it's just so weird not seeing him. This is the first entry to what Jesus I will Christ. refer to as the Toadster Archives, where all information gathered about criminals will be recorded. Criminal number one, the snail, was captured near the front gates of the kingdom while I was on patrol. The snail was captured while hiding in her shell, and has remained hidden since. It was initially thought to be an empty shell husk, until quiet crying was heard coming from within the shell. All attempts to convince the snail to leave her shell have failed. The reason for this extreme distress has not yet been determined. But I have a theory. Fuck. Joe. This criminal ain't from around here. So it's possible that this foreign hostile environment is what's causing this unnatural behavior. More updates soon. You kind of just talk. Okay, I don't like a peeler, but it's 
stare. You kind of just have them too about that baby. Scram. This is the third entry to the Toadster archives. Oops. Criminals numbers three and four, the birds, were captured by being lured in their current holding cells. Their sudden and unannounced appearance within the walls of the kingdom took me by surprise, but they are now safely contained. They seem to be very territorial, as they did not exhibit any hostile behavior as long as I kept my distance from their cell. It also seems that they were frantically looking for something, although I'm not sure what exactly. Since containment, they've remained completely still. I think they might be trying to trick me into getting in to check on them. I'm not falling for that. More updates soon. You ever consider they're looking for their baby? This is the second entry to the Toadster archives. Yeah. Criminal number two, the teacher, was captured near the elevator that goes down from the third floor, where a human was also captured earlier. Unlike the snail, the teacher was extremely hostile towards me, citing a missing student from her class as the reason she's even down here. Numerous failed attempts to escape were recorded, but it appears she's finally given up. Numerous objects were introduced in an attempt to calm her down, with only a few excess bowling pins seeming to do the job. The teacher has been sitting in a corner since calming down, repeating the sentence, I can't be late to herself, over and over. Truly an interesting case. You are very messed up, to be honest, bro. This is the fourth entry to the Toadster archives. Criminal number five, the Green Gorilla, was captured by falling Green victim gorilla. to an intricate trap that was designed and set up in the feeding sector by yours truly. So far, the Green Gorilla has been chained, so not too much information has been retrieved. So far today, we've received seven cases in only a few hours. It's very unnatural. Something up above has happened that's causing these cases to end up down here. It hurts seeing familiar faces in this state. But I cannot risk my health to help old friends that may have gone mad. More updates soon. I bet this was about my holding cell. I just, I do not like a peel up its stare. I mean, I'm glad they're okay, but still, it still f creeps me the fuck out. I just do not like the. Oh. So one last elevator plot, the employee exercise. I'm assuming this is it, the pebble one. Also, if anyone was curious, like um while the while the like were reading while to Sheriff Toad was like I'm reading out the note, I was sorting the thumbnails out, just finishing them off. Hmm. Is it? No, oh, this is not next one. So I wonder what the hell that massive moon thing is and like what the hell's its purpose. Also Sheriff Toadster is an absolute psychopath. I'm really curious um okay so the Bambleaner and Ban Ban. I'm really curious if I can pick up uh, Pinky Morning exercise checklist. Cognitive, physical, communicative. If I can pick up Pinky and bring her back to our parents. I mean, I do not think I'll be able to. And I might be messed up to do that because I might not even be able to thingy. The Queen. Case 14 was moved to a new dwelling, dwelling this morning to which she expressed satisf satisfaction but natural nervousness. As per management's request, further research on the phenomenon of case 14's post, which is conducted while the research provided invaluable observations, very little in terms of the explanation can be confirmed. 
It appears that any and all given M bodies experience a lot of difficulty leaving the pouch once inside, and especially so more if Case 14 chooses to hold the pouch shut. Reflexes appear to loosen Case 14's ability to hold the pouch shut at will. The reason for any case's inability to leave the pouch has been theorised to result of some sort of attraction between GB part Argos body being with the interior pouch. Case is permanently not ready. Have we? Uh, I'm just. I'm just very curious. Are you guys ever gonna have something that's ready? What's what's this like? A little offset. Get your brain. Get your brain work ready with this one exercise. Three games, two rounds each. Lights out. Something in one of the rooms might have changed. Report the room where the changes occurred. Memorize the contents of each room and keep your eyes peeled. Oh shit. Let's go for it. Something somewhere might have changed. No change. I'm assuming, like, okay, the boxes are gone. I'm assuming, like, each of these, like, it's it's only the little square icons I need to pay attention to. Who knows, though? Three games, two rounds each. Boxes is fine this time. I'm gonna say no change, even though I could be wrong. Ah, I got you. Okay, I don't think the oh the upper room is considered this one. Once again, I want to say no change. Oh wait, the couch is gone. Um. That seemed quite sus to me, like, I ain't gonna lie. No couch. Oh, yeah. Damn, missed it. Come on, give me the easy one. Give me the sun. Thank you. I don't even need to check the other ones, because it had no apples on it. Bing, ding. I hope it doesn't reset. Like, if you fail one game, it resets the rest. Okay, everything's fine in there. I would have said there was more boxes, but... say no change I could be wrong I think I'm wrong yeah how I feel so does that reset the entire game is that like maybe it was the box room I'm not sure Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I would have remembered that on the floor. That's an immediate red flag. Mm -hmm. 
please do not. Please let us just be like one game. Like I don't have to actually go through them all again. Okay, box room. Because it would suck just having to do another three games like every time you fail. Can I go in there now? Oh. Oh shit, thank god. Want the dead or alive, the jester, same stuff. Get me in here. Oh. Hi. So what, what's the per- right, uh, right, kitty, right, a kitty saurus, I think that's what this one's called. A dinosaur mixed with a cat. Why do you need that? Oh, these, these friggin' experiments are just so weird. People just have money and they're just like, you know what I want to make? I want to make a cat mixed with a T-Rex. Oi! So what, is this, what do these do then? So what am I doing? Am I just press right from what I understand, I'm standing on the buttons to bring them down or the or is it like they come down and then you stand on the buttons to bring them back down and then it's gonna hit them? Who knows? Nobody knows. Only I know that you should know. <laughs> Bye, bud. Alright, let's just test my theory that I don't need to actually press the buttons. Still a crazy looking monster. I don't know how you meant to beat this thing. Okay, so apparently you need to stand on the buttons, lure into the buttons, and then she'll smack her head on them. And then it'll open a door. <laughs> I just don't feel safe, if I'm being honest. <laughs>
Okay, so I think immediately I need to go on the other side and I need to get that button activated. It's not a big arena though, is it? It's like, it's very narrow. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, it's whole. The thing is, there's like no guarantee that she'll charge me. You obviously need to put enough distance from her. Come on, charge me. Okay, I think that's enough distance to get out of charge. Nope. Right, I feel like I should just get the middle ones out of the way first. So it knocked out, it, no it got knocked, it got nudged to the side, and because it nudged to the side, it's hitbox hit us. <sighs> Once again, this is the part where I am quiet, I focus, and I put the actual attempt that I win. I win. <laughs> Just couldn't do the run, could you? Okay, yeah, I need it to be over here. If I get this one over straight away, then. Perfect. I don't know why, but it's got the body of a turkey dinosaur. A turkey ancient boy, actually. Because that's what I call dinosaurs, ancient boys. Okay, now I'm going to loop around uh, and finish off with the final part. Okay. God damn it. Charge me one more time. Then charge into this, right? That is enough distance between me and her for her to hit a tree. Perfect.
Jurassic Meow. Oh, I wanted to jump on top of that body and be like, It was I who slayed the beast! Kitty Saurus says, Meow at friends, roar at the face of enemies. Not quite ready, go through here. Hey, I'm starting to like the system of communication. It's hard to do what we want to do without speaking to each other in private for a suspicious amount. And you know how they handle suspicious in this place. What I don't like is having sometimes to leave our messages at this floor as much as I understand that is necessary sometimes. I just can't help but feel watched down here. Anyway, I've collected the data of, of all the children currently enrolled in the kindergarten and I left them at your desk. I've marked my preferred genome donors and you do the same on the sheet. What? We can then exclude any students that aren't marked by the both of us and then from the smaller pool of candidates we pick one to proceed with. So... We just let me go. Oh, so people are letting their kids into this place, and then the kids are becoming. I've seen blue crystals everywhere, and I was like, yep, I need to collect these straight away. So people drop their kids off here to like be took care of, maybe because they've got to go to work or something. And then. This place is just like, yeah, pick a, pick a few, you know? And then we'll like, use them to donate, whatever. It's giving me very... vibes, if you know what I mean. I know it's not like, I know it's definitely not that, but just the way he was like, Pick one of your pick your favorites. I think it said, or pick your preferred genome donors. It's referring to the kids, and it's just don't like it. Okay, so there's none under there. Um, of her eight crystals, I have given her seven. Okay, so that's where it was. Okay, I had to look that up. Obviously, I'm pretty sure you can tell because I was looking like right. Um, yeah, my blind ass would probably not have been able to find that button. I was looking on the shrooms and everything. Oh, I was going to use Dave. I wonder if this means Kitty Soros will be in the um has the last holding holding cell then. Like a bug to a zapper. I won't lie, I thought the dinosaur would finish you off. But if trapping you will get you out of my way too, then who am I to complain? I tell you a very fitting joke, but you humans just never seem to get them. The closest people to me that lie. 
I was made to do. People who were genetically programmed to laugh at my every joke! They cited some end-of-the-world scenario where whatever's in the Queen's pouch escapes if I make her laugh. But I'm not buying it! I was distraught, and I became dead set on making the ultimate jokester. But after failing time and time again, I realized something. I am the ultimate jokester. There was nobody better to be made, even if by me. With the sheriff occupied, thanks to you, reaching the queen will be a piece of cake. I will go now, because unlike you, my path to having my family back has never been clearer. Is your family what's in... You've got such a goofy ass wall. Okay, that button's red now. Um, so... So what, um... What's inside the Queen's pouch is your family? Okay, the key source is gone. Which makes me think that it's still out there. I mean, the sheriff would not would not come out here and just grab it and then go all the way back there. It just would not add up. I'm actually going to check if I can, if it's actually at the holding cell. If it's at the holding cell, that is... How did you not see the jester, you know? Pretty sure I'm nearing the end of the episode. Because we've got all three puzzle pieces. Sorry, not puzzle pieces, um, elevator pieces, and we've beat a boss, and now the Jester is actually finally going to see Queen Celia? Kanga Celia? I forget her name already. So, what's going to happen to these guys? Okay, no, there's, there's nothing there. Okay. Do I... Oh, there's the kitty Saurus. So, I, he probably rode on it, I'm guessing. Little pinky, no. Your Majesty, I have finally come to do what I was made for and deliver my jokes. This is my best back yet. I command you to leave and not tell any jokes. Ooh. Look at what you have done! Wait, did she just fall? Did the baby just fall in? Oh, Holy shit! Grow up so fast. Too bad she's about to get completely crushed. Go on, Pinky. Go on, Pinky. Follow every single one of your orders. Why won't you give me that satisfaction one last time? Want to make you laugh. Come on, Pinky, you got this. But you know what will happen if I laugh? I do. And I told myself time and time again that some things are more important than laughter. But I can't wait anymore! I need to make you laugh, even if just for a little bit. I can't be put aside again. I am nothing without a ruler to entertain! I am sorry. Your Majesty, tell me, what did the train conductor say to the kangaroo? Hop on! <laughs> what? 
was terrible. Um, I was expecting to see the naughty ones come out. How fast? Oh! <laughs> okay, I've officially re reinstalled um, what YouTube creates, so hopefully it fixes now. I've actually port this video. Oh, I'm gonna be so annoyed. I mean, like, it's it's the worst time for it to actually mess up, like. Having to export videos when the, it's the 31 days of Halloween. I'm glad I've been pre recorded. The naughty ones are escaping! I've managed to get the elevator to work, but only partially. It can only go down. But right now, we have to escape this entire floor to anywhere else! But what about Pinky? I need got in a Ban Ban 5 now. I've got to see Pinky. I need to see Pinky again. I feel so bad for her. Why is he coming? Everything we've worked so hard to build just ruined. I've let the other prisoners go, but grab this one. Things you know it will definitely be useful. I'm glad you let them go. If we make it down there alive. We need to find the Queen's Scepter. It's the only thing that can stop this madness. Queen's Scepter. I wonder, why, why do you think Stinger Flint's gonna help us anyway? And that, my dear viewers, was Garden of Ban Ban 4. I really enjoyed that. Um, I'm kind of sad that that's it. I mean, I know there's like eight games out at the minute, and we've only gotten like four of them right now, because they just randomly, I, I, I'm pretty sure they just randomly ported like four of them over to console, so maybe they'll try to port the other four. Um, hopefully it doesn't take long, because I would love to see where the story goes from there, because I don't know anything from here. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you've seen today, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a future upload of mine. And I hope to see you in the next video that I do. Goodbye!